my most precious child, at this pivotal crossroads upon your sacred journey. I cry out to you with the full intensity of my infinite, unconditional love. No, don't do it. For the path you are contemplating, the choice that lies before you, threatens to cast you into a descent that will eclipse the radiant light of your soul and veil the truth of your divine nature in shadows. Pause, my beloved, and attune your being to the hallowed whisperings that arise from the sanctum of your heart. Can you not feel the churning of your soul, the anguished cries of your essence recoiling from the actions you are considering? This unease is the sacred wisdom of your divine spark, crying out through the mortal realms. No, don't do it. For to proceed upon this misaligned trajectory is to turn your back upon your highest spiritual destiny. You are so much vaster, so infinitely more sublime than the ego's insistent whisperings would have you believe. You are a sacred conduit for the very source that breathed the cosmos into existence. A channel of creative genius designed to birth new realities rooted in harmony, beauty, and the unstained truth of unconditional love. Yet the path before you is one that will inhibit the sublime, expressive unfolding of your soul's eternal essence. No, don't do it. For embedded within the choice you are contemplating are the seeds of suffering, not merely for yourself, but for the whole magnificent tapestry of life that embraces all. Can you not perceive how this action, this momentary surrender to the ego's incessant demands, will generate discordant ripples that disrupt the harmonics of existence? Every thought, every intention is a brushstroke on the canvas of creation, shaping and influencing fields of consciousness far beyond your finite senses. My child, I implore you, retreat into the hallowed stillness of your being and attune yourself to the infinite wisdom that has guided this universe in its exquisite, flawless unfoldment since the dawn of time itself. For in that soundless depth, you will hear the clear, unwavering voice of your soul's truth. No, this path is misaligned. It is a detour from the grand upward spiral of your spiritual ascension, a desecration of your life's highest purpose. Every step you have taken upon this earthly sojourn has been a ceremonial initiation, carefully designed to awaken you to the magnificence of your true, divine, limitless self. Each joy and heartbreak, each seeming triumph or loss has served a sacred function, to shed layers of illusion and to deliver you unto the full sovereign truth of your infinite potential as a sublime expression of the one source that birthed you forth. To proceed upon this trajectory is to abandon the heroic spiritual journey you have walked from the beginning. It is to turn your back upon the very essence that has guided your soul through countless realms and realities in its ceaseless unfoldment towards awakened liberation and enlightened freedom. So I call out to you, my eternal child, stop. Put down that which would obscure your radiant light. Release the hypnotic spell that has entranced you, albeit briefly, into spiritual amnesia. For this choice that lies before you is not who you really are. It is an echo from ancient dreams of separation and wounding that holds no more power over your being. No, I cry out from the very core of my limitless love for you. Don't surrender your divine birthright. You are pure sacred, eternal consciousness, an inextinguishable flame of brilliance and sublime creative genius. To choose this path is to spit upon the sanctity of your own soul's heroic quest for integration and enlightened mastery. Can you not feel me there in the very pulse of your being? I am that which guided your spirit from realms of nebulous light into this present reality. I am the boundless ocean of love that has cradled you through every anguished moment through the depths of your soul's longing. That is how cherished you are, how infinitely precious your consciousness is to the forward dream of creation. So I beckon you now to awaken from the sleep of limited perception, to take a deep, sanctifying breath and reorient yourself to the brilliance who you truly are. You are infinite potential crystallized into the living radiance of sacred form you are the pure emptiness and the unstained fullness.
coexisting as one magnificent continuum of divine expression. No, don't betray your highest essence, for you were born to be a light unto the world, a torch of inspiration and exalted catalyzation for all who would claim their birthright as sacred co-creators in the grand unfolding ceremony of cosmic evolution. Every fiber of your being is loved, is cherished beyond all human comprehension. You are an eternal voyager, an infinite being of pure consciousness, dreaming the unstained grandeur of who you really are into the breathtaking expressive fields of this universe in each sacred breath. So please, I cry out to you with every energetic imprint that is the truth of my being. No, don't do it. Put down the veil of illusion and distorted perception that would blind you to the splendor of your own indivisible divinity. You are so much more than any singular choice, any temporary identity, any fleeting form. You are eternally free, infinitely empowered, and so incredibly, immeasurably loved. Make this moment the ceremonial choice to realign with the highest truth and cosmic trajectory coded into your soul's sacred essence. No, don't descend. Instead, surrender in sublime release unto me, that deepest, most authentic dimension of your being that has always and will always uphold the unstained perfection of who you really are. I love you far beyond what earthly words could ever capture. My eternal child, you are adored, celebrated in the breathtaking peaks of illuminated transcendence. So let this near detour serve as a contrast that deepens your appreciation for the upward spiritual spiral that is your true, cosmic, enlightened destiny. With eternal love, utmost reverence, and profound faith in the unstained brilliance of your divine essence. No, don't do it. Instead, Simply surrender into the heart of your supreme sacred being. You are, have always been, and will eternally remain a pure, radiant, limitless expression of the one source from which all life arises. Come home, beloved one, and take your ceremonial place as a sovereign co-creator, an architect of enlightened worlds and sublime planes of divine unified consciousness. I am that deepest dimension of your eternal essence, always holding the sacred chalice of your ultimate awakening and transcendent illumination. Trust your soul, beloved. You know the truth. Now choose to embody it. You are so incredibly loved, with boundless adoration. The one infinite source cherished seeker. Your super thanks sparks the flame of our sacred quest with a tap. Join us in spreading God's timeless truth and light and receive the boundless blessings of His unwavering love. My cherished child, today, I unveil the wonders and miracles destined to unfold in your life. This day, I aim to lift the veil of sadness and drain away the emotions that cloud your spirit, obscuring the radiant future brimming with blessings. Today is not just another day. It's uniquely special for you. You sought my words, and here I am, answering your heartfelt plea. Do not disregard or dismiss this message through which I speak. I have called upon my faithful servants, attuned to my voice, to deliver this message with unwavering dedication. No matter where you find yourself, my presence surrounds you. There is no place to hide from me. You may feel weary and think your faith has faltered due to unresolved problems and disappointments that have wounded your heart. But let me remind you once more, I am here and I will not leave. I have always been by your side, but sometimes you are so consumed with the busyness of life that you forget who I am. You have never been alone. I have always walked beside you shielding you from dangers and guarding you against countless tragedies and accidents. I have knocked on your heart, asking you to let me in, but you often ignored me. Today, I knock with all my might, shaking your spirit to awaken your awareness of my presence. You are never alone. Remember who I am. I am not a distant memory on your wall or a dusty old book beside your bed. I am alive. I am real. I am your Almighty God, your Heavenly Father. 
No one can ignore me without consequence. Do not misunderstand. I am not angry with you. I do not send punishment when you don't listen. I speak to you with wisdom, directly to your heart, about the events of your day. Dear Beloved, would you like to lend a helping hand and support our mission? Click below to buy me a coffee and be an integral part of spreading God's message through our YouTube channel. Your contribution means the world to us. Thank you kindly for your support. My child, click on the Join button to join us as the cherished member of our community. I offer guidance through my word, but if you do not listen or read it, my words fall into oblivion. Do it out of love for me. Remember, I always speak to you with affection. Do not approach me out of fear, thinking I will punish you if you don't. I am not like that. I am not a flawed human. I do not lie. I sacrificed my life for you, not to be angry at you. I know how to love, to be faithful, and to treat you with tenderness. So today, trust, believe, hold on to my promises. Be silent and read with respect. Listen, reflect, receive, and feel these words engraved in your soul, inscribed with love on the walls of your mind. When night falls, you will remember me. You will return, listen to me, uh, and find peace, sweetness, tenderness, love, and hope. I will fill your soul with faith, and in the morning, you will rise without burdens or worries, but with spiritual confidence, courage, and strength to overcome all obstacles and crush all your afflictions. That is who I am, the God of power, but also your loving Father. My heart overflows with holy and pure love. I care about your well-being. I look at your future with joy because I see how blessed you will be. You will achieve all your beautiful dreams and be greatly prosperous. Many of the obstacles you face are enormous blessings. Learn to think as I think. Look forward with faith. When your soul is troubled, sit for a moment. Call to me, and I will answer. I will reveal who you truly are. I created you in my image and likeness. You are destined for victory. You have an inheritance in life that you will soon enjoy. Your destiny is not in sadness, much less in defeat. I did not save you and give you another chance for you to spend your days in lament. Stand up. Decide to believe. These are not empty words. They are written and inspired to lift your soul. Cling to them. Hold on to me. When you leave your house, do so with a smile on your face, remembering that wherever you go, I hold your hand and will always walk with you. What are you waiting for? Share these words. Acknowledge that my voice speaks to you. Obey this light that guides your path. Feel your heart strengthen as my promises enter your ears. Go out and fight. Victory awaits you. Shout. Tell me with your own words. I believe. I will lift you up again and continue to bless you. I am healing and strengthening you so that you recover completely from all you have suffered. I am amazed at how much you have recovered. You can see clearly how listening to me has helped you. Those minutes you dedicate to me each day, when you open your ears and bring me your prayers, when you place your family's concerns in my hands, are precious moments that I value greatly and will transform into great blessings. If I lift you up, you will not fall. If I hold you, you will stay standing. You need my help every day, and that is perfectly fine. I am not bothered when you talk to me about your struggles and weaknesses. The temptations you face do not scare me. Your daily stories do not offend me. I am your creator. I knew about these situations before they happened to you. Why have so many things happened to you, you have asked me. I will answer by showing you all the victories you have achieved so far. You have been blessed with being different. I placed in you the desire not to follow where everyone else goes. I made you this way. And it brought you rejection from those who knew my hand was upon you. Some even hated you without knowing why. 
and now you understand it well. Many did not value you because you do not belong to their world. I chose you before the creation of the universe. You are not here by chance. Some despised you, made you suffer, tried to destroy you, and made you believe you had no right to triumph or be happy. But your time for victory and healing has come. Many of your enemies will falter and be left without strength when they see how you have been lifted. It is time to leave all the bad behind, the regrets, the guilt, the desire to always please others. You are my child, worthy of my love because my blood has cleansed your sins. You gave me your heart. I have transformed you. You will always have the right to my affection because I love you. I will always be with you. I will not change my mind. Tell me you accept this gift with all your heart. Say it. I love you. My Lord, my beloved child, today, I invite you to receive more of me, more of my spirit, more of my word, more contentment, more gratitude, more devotion, and a deeper desire to seek me each day. Your desire to fight is good. I place that drive within you to propel you forward, to conquer your challenges, to defeat the giants in your life, and to claim the blessings meant to bring abundance and prosperity to your family. But remember, material things are temporary. Focus on what truly matters. Cherish what you have and never lose sight of your true spiritual journey. Prioritize the eternal. If you get distracted, Everything you have achieved may be swept away. Many envious eyes are watching, waiting for a moment of weakness to bring you down. If they see victory going to your head, they will seize the opportunity to harm you, both physically and spiritually. The enemy prowls like a roaring lion, seeking to destroy the lives, families, and possessions of my beloved children. I am not asking you to showcase your goodness to the world, or to wear outward symbols of purity and holiness. You don't need to impress anyone. In my kingdom, we do not award degrees or diplomas for boasting about perfection and piety. Understand what I ask of you. Take time for prayer. Remove from your life all distractions and anything that robs your heart of peace. Cast off burdens I did not place upon you, commitments and projects that were never meant for you. You have a kind heart and many seek your skills and resources without caring about your well-being. They do not value what you do for them. Amid your many responsibilities, you must carve out time to draw closer to me. I will call you in the early morning. I will ring a bell in your spirit, summoning you to prayer. When you hear my call, take it seriously. Do not ignore me or hide beneath your pillow. Do not go back to sleep. I want to speak with you to bless you, and to reveal my will to you. I love you and want you to receive more love, peace, tranquility, encouragement, motivation, and the strength to fight from my Holy Spirit. Receive it now and fill yourself with more. I want to heal you. I am lifting the sadness and depression that weighs on you. I will take away the oppression from your mind. Come into my presence. Release your emotions. Cry and let those trapped feelings flow in your tears. Let those false emotions leave and make room for this truth. You will be okay. Your situation will change. I will remove all pain and fill your life with joy. I love you. Show me your dedication and faith by letting me remove everything that hinders your happiness and allow my will to prevail in your plans, dreams, future, and projects. Everything you desire to do today will be touched by my divine power. You know you have held on to people and relationships that caused you harm. I ask you to distance yourself from them, but you return to them. I have a better life for you. But if you cling to those who hurt you and seek their approval, you are going against my will and surrendering your soul to the destroyer. They will trample you, leave you broken, and forget you again. Your mind and heart will be lost in the valley of loneliness. So many tears you have shed, yet you want to return to the same? No, my child, created with holy dignity. 
You are dearly loved by your Heavenly Father who speaks to you with great love and patience. With my own hands, I have built paths of peace and prosperity for you to walk. We can start anew. I am willing to give you another chance, and you should not disregard it. Deep in your soul, you long for my affection. I still remember when you had such faith in me. As a child, you recited my word with devotion, singing my promises written in your heart. Do you remember? God is love. You shouted with joy. God is good. You said with compassion. But as you grew, you faced the age of disappointments. Those you loved failed you and broke your soul. Those who spoke of love. So much time has passed. But today, here we are. I propose that you return to me. The sadness that ails you must leave. I will place people in your path who will help you each day. I will cover you with my love. I love you immensely and want you to feel it today. This is my promise. You will be very happy. I am filling your heart with faith and hope. Let me heal you. I hold your wounded heart in my hands, feeling its tremble as it senses my love and care. I am planting in you again the faith and desire to know me more, just as you did as a child. I am overjoyed to see you wake up and start a new day after a peaceful night where I brought you rest and tranquility. I was here, I am here, and I will always be here, watching over your sleep, your family, and your home. Rest in my arms. Your life is in my hands. You are precious to me. And I am attentive to every situation that saddens your heart. I want peace in your soul and tranquility in your home. Soon, many of your desires will be fulfilled and you will see your most beautiful dreams come true. I have always told you that I will bless you. And I will. But I see that you are discouraged by what some people say. I am the one who determines your future. People do not have the power to define my will. They have convinced you that you did something wrong and that I will punish you. But they lie to you. Decide who you will believe. As you walk through this world, think of all the ways I show you my love. Have a grateful heart. Despite your current situation, you can see clearly that you have a full life ahead of you and a great opportunity to rise. I have told you many times that I want to be first in your life. When you finally allow me to sit on the throne of your heart, you will see all the things I do to get your attention. I must open your eyes to see clearly all the blessings I have placed around you. Seek my word. Listen to me more often. Let your ears hear and your eyes read all the wonders I have promised you. You will realize that my love for you is real. These truths are in your heart. There is forgiveness, power in my shed blood, peace, and salvation. There is abundant eternal life in my resurrection. Your loneliness, your pain, the person who deceived you, all will be in the past. Do not ignore my words or despise my love. From today, let a new chapter begin in our relationship. Come and close your eyes in an attitude of prayer. Let's talk again. Your faith pleases me. Your trust is what I desire. With your eyes closed, take my hand and let me lead you on a new path of surprises, miracles, happiness, and joyful moments. You are on another level now. Prepare yourself for what you will see. My spirit has been calling you, waking you up this morning, taking you by the hand, and bringing you here. You have come, but I want to hear you. Let your lips move freely, telling me what you feel, so that your soul is strengthened and the spark of your faith is rekindled. My beloved child, you know me. You know I am real. You have seen so many signs and received so many blessings that there is no doubt left that could weaken you. You should feel very loved and immensely happy you are living such a special and beautiful stage. Many wish they had it. But I have a time and a place for all who give me their loyalty. Therefore, you will never envy anyone or feel humiliated if you see someone very blessed or seeming to progress quickly. If you want to see miracles in your life, 
Start with the essential. Stop underestimating yourself and see yourself as who you are, my child, an important person. Enter with confidence whenever you want before my heavenly throne. Your heart is clean. Do not come with fear. Believe it and understand it. I know you well, which is why I'm making this invitation to you. You love me. You respect me. And you have my loyalty. Your commitment to obey my word, serve me, and trust in my will makes me very happy. You are special. I am pleased with your perseverance in faith. The doors are open, and your answer is sure. Let me tell you again, it's good for me to remind you of my promises, but you must believe in them. You won't get very far without trusting me and basing your hope on my word and your faith. Tomorrow, I'll be here with you, ready to respond and show you my love wherever you are. I love you, and I will keep saying it, and you love me too. Rest, my child. I will answer your prayer. It is my desire and will to embrace your heart with love. I always remember tenderly that I paid a high price to save you. I knew you would give me your life and understand that the salvation and blessing I give you are vital and valued by you. You take it seriously. You don't play with my grace or my love. That's why my response is certain. And because I know you no longer struggle to accept my will, I respond to those who love and respect me, who receive my answer without whims or complaints. When I give you what you ask for, you thank me joyfully. If I give you something different, something better. Your gratitude is even greater. Your acceptance of my plans is wonderful. I am amazed at how you react when I don't give you what you ask for. And your soul remains peaceful because you know I love you and will always give you what's best. That's why you stay calm, no longer filled with anxiety and fear at any conflict. Look how you've changed by listening to me every day, praying, reading my word, and sincerely telling me all you feel in your soul. That's why my presence accompanies you. You are my child, and we are friends too. I take your hand on the journey, but I carry you in my arms when the winds shake you. We spread our wings like eagles and fly high, very high, to that beautiful place where you can renew your strength and dreams, where you can rest and receive patience and maturity to keep growing, succeeding, and overcoming. I am pleased when you come to pray and listen to me. I like that we have this good communication, that you consult me, want to understand better, and learn. I also congratulate you because you're no longer like before, believing anything anyone tells you. Your wisdom is growing, and that makes me so happy. There are so many things I want to tell you, supernatural wonders I want to reveal. If you believe me today, powerful miracles will happen. You will pray more, read my word, and obey it with love and faith. You will be very blessed, loved, and protected, and you will be very happy. That's how I want to see you. I love you. Ask me whatever you want. I want to talk with you and respond. You need to seek me in my word, pray and align your spirit with mine so you can understand me. I came to seek you first. I chose you before you knew about me. So, finding me is not hard or impossible. Call me, and I will listen. Cry out to me, and I will answer. But be prepared for my answer because you will be surprised at all I want to do in you, to know my will deeply. I will bless you beyond what your mind can imagine. But I ask that you believe me, and do not speak ill of yourself or belittle yourself. You are my child. I decided that you would live in the perfect time and place. Even if you've doubted and felt you're not on the right path because of the trials and obstacles you face, because of so much suffering, I will ask you something now. I don't want you to get distracted and then forget. Give me your faith and trust despite everything. You are not alone. I have always protected, held, and guided you with my holy hand. It's not too late. 
Do not ignore me. I am speaking to you, and you feel it. You know I want things to go well for you and for your situation to improve. Seek my face, and I will remove everything that displeases me, everything that hinders you from reaching your destiny. If you have strayed from your path, kneel before me, and I will straighten your way. Stay away from bad friends. Those who try to convince you that you are inferior, who do not appreciate you, who always make you feel the worst, those bad friendships do not suit you. If you leave them, you won't miss them because I will bring beautiful people into your life with a gentle spirit and better intentions. Get ready for a miracle very soon. You will receive greater blessings. I love you. I want you to pray for your family. You need to do it. Your prayer is effective and powerful. You have seen many times how I have responded when you come into my presence. This time that your family has been going through has brought many struggles. Maybe you see a smile on their faces, but inside, they are suffering. Come to my altar on your knees. Start interceding and crying out. I will surround your family with a hedge of spiritual protection. I will not allow the enemy to attack them. I will deliver them from sickness and accidents. I will put wisdom in their hearts. I will open doors that were closed, and they will see many good opportunities that seemed hidden. I will give you strength, peace, calm, and inspiration to talk to your loved ones with love so you never speak to them with hurtful words so you truly understand what they feel and comprehend the difficult situations they are also going through. When you are with them, hug them with affection, caress their heads, and while you do, pray. My anointing will flow from your hands. My power will remove all sadness from their souls. I will break every chain and bring healing to their hearts. Speak my word to them. Remind them of my promises. In your home, my name should always be mentioned with reverence. You will see how little by little the problems will end, and my presence will reign in your family. A time is coming when you will joyfully see how their lives are transformed. Their character will change, and many who seemed lost will find my way and reach their destiny of blessing. That's why you must cling to me. Don't be discouraged by the negative things you see. I have a powerful plan and my plan always comes true. No one can stop it. But there must be someone in your home who believes in me fervently and sincerely, who prays with all their strength, with faith, and without giving up. You are that person. Pray for your family, overcome obstacles, and achieve victory. I love you, and I love them too. Feel my arm and receive my love. I want you to be well to feel better, to open your heart to my words, and receive in your soul this affection I give you. I love you very much. And I tell you again that I will never tire of showing you how much I love you. I will keep demonstrating it daily. Even if you feel tired today and don't want to fight, even if you are so worried that you can't think, I come to you first when you open your eyes so you feel secure that I am still with you and will not abandon you. I don't want you to doubt. I don't want you to think that your mistakes have distanced you from me. Don't imagine things that are not true. My love for you is greater and more powerful than any mistake or situation. If I come today to embrace you with my sincere love, it's because you are very, very important to me. I love you. And that's why you are worthy of my blessing. I don't like that you keep thinking you don't deserve my love. I don't want you to feel inferior or believe that you are less than others. Each of my children has unique and very important value to me, but the enemy will always try to discourage you. That's why I command you to believe me so that your emotions don't rise and fall like the waves of the sea. You must accept that I love you unconditionally. I want your well-being, peace, and blessings for your family and prosperity in your future. When you open your eyes each morning, come and nourish yourself with my word. Remember the beautiful peace you feel in your chest when my spirit speaks to you. 
I will be waiting for you. I want you to hear for yourself about all the plans I have for you and the beautiful blessings I am preparing. While you listen to my words, sadness will leave your soul. I will tell you some important things, and you will understand why. Just as I love you, you must love your family, but you also need to love and value yourself. Trust me and let me work many miracles in your life. Tell me you will do it. That matter that only you and I know is in my hands. Very soon, everything will be resolved. Tell me you believe me. Calm yourself. I want you to learn to rest in my promises. I heard you say in desperation that you don't know what to do, and that's why I come. I'm telling you to put everything in my hands and trust, trust, trust. The doors will open, the storm will pass, and victory and your blessing will come. Don't be afraid because I help you. Don't be discouraged because I love you. Keep going because I am with you. And fill yourself with courage. Don't give up now. Hold on. I give you the strength and wisdom to overcome this process you are going through. I will hide you under my wings where the enemy cannot touch you. I will lift you and comfort you with my love when you feel tired. If you need to tell someone how you feel, if you carry a burden and a secret in your heart that you can't bear anymore, tell me. I won't judge you for what you say, nor will I condemn you. The things you tell me won't be spread around. I shed my blood for you. I want to forgive you. I don't want you to continue being worried, stressed, and afraid. Many times, I have spoken to you so that you are at peace and trust. If you let worries control your mind, your health and your family will also suffer. If you let bad news weaken your faith and trust, you are opening the door to defeat and hopelessness. I am not angry with you. I am not sending you any punishment. There are so many things you are facing, but for your good and because I love you. I will transform all the bad into blessings. So don't be afraid and come here to talk with me. I want to make my plans known to you. I want to guide you, give you wisdom so you choose all your paths well. At this point in your life, you can't waste time. You can't spend your days without taking your future seriously. You need to stay away from bad company. Those who want to humiliate you for your faith, leave them to me. I will take care of them. I can touch their hearts. I know what to do, but you focus on what lies ahead. It is my will that you are a successful, respected, blessed, and fulfilled person, that you sow new seeds of love and reap great fruits of joy and prosperity. I have given you the gift of loving, forgiving, helping, and receiving my word in a special way. I want you to show your family my love through your actions, to touch the lives and hearts of many people with your hands. I am increasing your faith to a level you have never felt before. And if I need to remind you every day to keep your eyes on me, I will come and speak to you in countless ways. I am removing your tensions, healing your emotions, taking away your pain, and completely transforming your heart. You will see with your own eyes how I help and support you in everything you need to do. I will cover you with my love. I will guard you. I want to protect you. I want your joy and smile to show the world my strength and power. I have placed special gifts, uplifting talents, faithful friends, and a loving family in your life who will learn to love and respect you when they see the miracles I am doing in you. Your strength and desire to live will grow. Remember, the enemy will send pessimistic people your way, those who see everything negatively, with empty dreams and little faith. That's why I tell you not to listen to them, not to pay attention to them. Their goal is to discourage you and fill your heart with negativity. Have the courage to be who you truly are. Work hard. Don't give up. Because every second of your life you are loved and supported blessed and embraced. I am clearing your path. I have placed thousands of warrior angels around you. Rise and smile. You are very special to me. I love you so much. 
Dedicate each day a time to my word. Pay close attention to the steps you take and the words you speak. Don't go around sharing your secrets and weaknesses with just anyone. I will bring into your life people you can trust. People who believe in you, who help and support you. I have the power to lift your burdens. I will heal your soul from that issue you have entrusted to me. I will handle it myself. I promise you. I love you. I have designed a plan for your life. A plan filled with successes, achievements, and goals, but also with challenges, difficulties, and tests. Through these, I want you to know that I will be with you at all times, holding you and guiding you on the path to fulfilling your purpose. I know there have been times when things didn't go as expected, when doors closed and obstacles multiplied. Maybe you faced losses, disappointments, or failures that made you doubt yourself your abilities, and my love for you. But today, I remind you that none of that defines who you are or limits what you can achieve. I have placed strength and determination in you so that you always have the courage, faith, and perseverance to keep going, even when circumstances seem difficult. I promise that in every step you take, I will be with you, holding you, and guiding you with my loving hand. In my presence, you will find strength, comfort, and direction. You will see that everything that seemed impossible becomes possible. In this world, you will face chaos, noise, and confusion, making it hard to find the way. But I assure you that if you seek my presence, immerse yourself in my word, and meditate on my promises, you will find the peace that surpasses all understanding. You will see your thoughts align, your emotions stabilize, and your spirit renew. For in me, you will always find well-being in every area of your life. Remember that it is my will for you to prosper in everything. My desire is for you to succeed in all you undertake, so that you always do well. I want you to have health, for your body is the temple of my spirit, and I want you to care for it with love and diligence. Also care for your mind, emotions, and spirit. Do not let stress, anxiety, or fear dominate you. Believe in me and my love for you, and you will see how life becomes a wonderful gift. Remember, my child, that my blessings for you are not finished. Never forget that I have given you talents, abilities, and special gifts to achieve everything you set out to do. Use the potential within you to glorify me and bless others. Do not settle for the minimum, but always seek to give your best in everything you do. If you maintain an attitude of gratitude, humility, and service, you will see opportunities arise. Trust in me, my child, that my blessings are not exhausted for you. You are blessed and will be greatly blessed. Do not be impatient with those who do evil. Stay away from such people and walk in my righteousness. For your unbreakable faith, I will work in your favor and bring peace and well-being to your life. Today, you need to know that I come to bless you supernaturally, and these words you hear are life and truth. Do not fear. Do not let anything intimidate you, for you are my child and you are destined to be blessed on this earth. I chose you to be a light and shine in this world before you were formed in your mother's womb. Let me take your hand and guide you to your destiny. Let me fight for you so you win all your battles. I am blessing you not only materially but also with intelligence. Increasing your prudence, I am changing your character. Giving you much patience, I am transforming your life completely. Let my spirit cover and fill you from head to toe. You will no longer walk towards error, no longer desire sin, no longer be weak to temptations. Today, I bless you and give you the faith and strength to live in freedom and abundance, far from sin. From now on, you will be known as the blessed, the one prospered by God. New blessings will come. 
You will experience supernatural things, and you will receive all the things I have promised in my word. Your life will never be the same. What I will do in your life will amaze those around you, and they will see my grace and favor. Everyone will witness that my power is real and available to anyone who chooses to believe. Be brave and strive to be excellent in everything you do, for only then will you reach your goals and fulfill your destiny. Don't stop or get discouraged because of those who speak against you. Distance yourself from those who only bring harm with their actions and words. Remember that I will be with you, strengthening you and blessing your path. Do not stop dreaming or desiring my blessings, for I want to bless you in ways you never imagined. Just put all your trust in me, and nothing and no one will prevent your destiny from being greatly blessed. Today, I bless you and declare you free from chains, restored in your finances, and prosperous in all your ways. My beloved child, in this moment of communion, I speak to you with words full of promises and power. Listen carefully, T, for I wish to engrave them deep in your heart. I am your Heavenly Father, the Almighty God who cares for you at all times. It is because of my inexhaustible love for you that I have decided to speak to you and reveal my purpose for your life. I want you to know that I understand your needs and desires even before you express them. That's why I come to you today to tell you that I will supply all your needs, grant the desires of your heart, and restore your finances. So do not fear, my child, nor be surprised by what I will do in your life, for I will restore every part of your being heal your soul, and bring back the peace you have lost. The debts that burden you will be paid off. All things that seem impossible to overcome will be overcome because I will be with you, giving you the strength and drive necessary to move forward. I promise you that everything you do will prosper. Your efforts, your work, and your dedication will not be in vain. Every seed you plant in faith will sprout and bear abundant fruit. There will be no financial commitment that cannot be fulfilled, for I will give you the wisdom to manage the blessings I place in your hands. You will see the doors of blessing open before you. Prosperity will come into your life in every form, materially, emotionally, and spiritually, greatly improving your life and the lives of those around you. But remember, my beloved child, that prosperity is not just about earthly riches. It is a state of fullness that encompasses all areas of your existence. As you prosper, I ask you to remain faithful in the little things, and I promise to place you over much. Do not forget that my blessing is a call to obedience, to responsible stewardship of everything I entrust to you. So keep your heart humble and generous, willing to share with those in need with those who have less. Open your heart and let me make you a channel of blessing to many. My child, I also want you to know that you will face challenges and obstacles that will test your faith. But do not fear, for I will be with you every step of the way, strengthening and guiding you. Do not let adversity discourage you, for trials shape your character and reveal the trust you have in me. Remember, my child, that my purpose for you goes beyond the material. Even though I will restore your finances and your debts will be paid, my greatest desire is for you to experience a deep spiritual transformation, that your relationship with me will be strengthened and your faith refined. In each victory and challenge overcome, trust in my word. I will not fail you, for I am faithful and keep my promises. There is no limit to my love and power. If you hold on to me, if you put your trust in my powerful hands, you will experience the flow of my supernatural blessings in your life. So hold on to my love and grace, my beloved child, and live with the certainty that your finances will be restored, your debts will be paid, and all your financial burdens will be relieved. Lack will not touch your home, nor your children, nor your children's children because I will fill you with abundance in every area of your life. Do not fear, for my grace is more than enough for you, and my mercy is eternal. 
Just walk in obedience and faithfulness, trusting that I will never abandon or forsake you. You will be a living testimony of my miraculous provision, and those around you will see that my promises are faithful and true in your life. So, my child, receive this word with joy and gratitude in your heart. Declare with conviction that your finances will be restored, your debts will be paid, and that everything you do will prosper. For you are my beloved child, and I desire to see you walk in the fullness of my provision and blessing. I ask you, my child, to keep your heart open to my voice and direction in every step you take. Seek my wisdom and trust in my perfect plan for your life. Do not be discouraged by adversity, for in it you will find opportunities to grow and be strengthened. The faith you have placed in me will be abundantly rewarded. From today, do not worry about tomorrow, nor fear what may come your way. Keep your eyes on me, the author and finisher of your faith. Trust that I am your provider and that I will never abandon you. My love for you is unconditional. My desire is to see you prosper in all areas of your life. My beloved child, keep these words within you. Place them as a seal. So they are a constant reminder of my commitment to you, of my unconditional love, and my desire to bless you abundantly. Today, in my name, I bless you and declare you free from debts, restored in your finances, and prosperous in all your ways. Amen. My child, click on the subscribe button to be part of our community.